So, how did we meet? No, I don't want to start with that. Let's oh. introduce ourselves. Like, no one knows this yet. No. So, yes, we should. What? Okay, what's your name? What's your full name? Terzel Ron Vasquez. Great. It's a RuPaul of a cool fan energy. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, what do you do? What do you do? What do I do for yeah. a living? Okay. Mm -hmm. What do I do for a living? I. She's a fashion designer. Fashion. I just. I'm okay. It's a television production. Okay, let's not ask those questions. And let's uh, just tell that's what, what we, we do. Okay. So we're just making a video because we're a cute couple. Yeah. Um. So how do we meet, babe? Okay. So I love <laughs> this story. Um. So pretty much, we were in Union Square in New York City. And um, I go to Parsons and he went to NYU at the time. And so it's crazy how we didn't run into each other before because the schools are right next to each other. Like right next to each other. Like right next to each other. So Parsons is on 14th Street and NYU is all across the uh, city. But uh, the main campus is on but West Fourth Street. Yeah, but and there's a, also multiple NYU buildings right next like, to. Like they Boston. literally are like next, like there's like we share a campus pretty much at this point if you think about it that way because Parsons doesn't have a campus. Anyways, okay, let's get back to story. So we were in front of Dwayne Reed. Um, it was April thirteenth. It was Friday the thirteenth, and um, yeah, I know. And um, oh, I was just coming with. What year? Two thousand eighteen. And I was just coming um, from a tattoo parlor because on Friday the 13th you get tattoos for $13. Um, and so basically, you get a I was actually gonna get a tattoo, but the line was so long, so I didn't want to wait. Where you gonna get tattooed? Yo, I really wanted a scorpion. A scorpion? <laughs> yeah. Where? Um, I don't know, somewhere. I was thinking of something like on my arm or something, just like, I don't know. I don't know though. Like, like what part of your arm? Like no, right like, I, like, like right here or something. Scorpion, I think. Boy, that's kind of hot, isn't it? No, <laughs> no, it's weird. Why scorpion? I don't know. Like, that's... why? Do you, like, what's the connection you have with scorpion? Um, I feel like a Scorpio, but I'm a Sagittarius and a Scorpio sometimes. So, and then I have that huge scorpion on the back of my jacket, the white jacket. Oh so yeah. It's kind of like, but like that's not something that I really, really wanted. Like. That wasn't something that I would have committed to, just because it's not something that I'm in. Like, I didn't think about it that hard. It was just Friday the 13th. Yeah. I wanted to go out. It was sunny. It was like one of the warmest days ever. I could wear shorts that day. I was wearing shorts and a crop top. Mm -hmm. And um, I was walking down um, 14th. I was like, 14th and Union. Okay, we were 14th and Union. And um, I was with two of my best friends, Nicole and Armando. And pretty much, me and Terzel, we saw each other and like we were walking past each other. So this is me. No, this is Terzel and this is me. So we're, we're, we're walking past each other. We're like smiling at each other right here. And then we all already walked past each other. We're like looking back at each other, smiling at each other. And in my head, I'm like, bro, I mean, he looks like a grown man. I'm 19 years old and I feel grown enough that we would, we should say something by now. We already walked past each other, whatever. And so then I'm like, yo, you're cute. Are you gonna say something? <laughs> and then he was like, "Yeah, you're cute too." What the can fuck? I, no, I, get, get, no, get the fuck out of here. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> it, was, stop it was very stop, like cute. Stop. All right, it was my turn. So she was down the block. She was like all the way over there, and I was right here. Like we already walked past each other. We didn't already walk past each we other. We did all the time. Um, that is my turn. Um, so I saw her down the block, and she saw me too. But there were people walking by, so there was no one. It was she was making eye contact. Walking. There was no one. So there was people by. walking by. There was no Once one. Once the people walking. kept on walking by, and then they passed her, she kept on. We, we kept on making eye contact. That's when I realized, all right, boom, like. So she came closer, and 
st we're still making eye contact. She came up to me. She was like, yo, you're cute. So I was like, I bet. Because... I was gonna say something too. Oh no, but he was she not. Said it first. We walked past each other she already. Said, she said it first. Already walked past each other. I was with other. a lot of my friends at the time. He had two friends with him. No, right? I had. A, I had. A, you had mean? two friends with no, you. No, I had like five, six people there, babe. Okay, so he doesn't remember the story. Very oh my god! All right. That's okay. So I had like a lot of friends there with me, um, and so she came, and um, I was like, okay, so what's your Instagram? I got her Instagram, and then she walked away. And, and so wait, wait, wait. What we so we had a little bit of a conversation in that moment. And so he asked for my Instagram, and I pulled out my phone, and I realized, oh, I was taking an Instagram break, so I didn't have the app on my phone. So I'm like, okay, now I might take your phone out. And so he took his phone out. Um, I, I, you know, he added me from his phone. It was an Android. Um, we. That's a whole other situation but i don't see anything wrong with having an android it was an android at that time though which is okay like I got an iPhone it was now. but like he was so cute so i was like i don't care if you have an android whatever and so then um i go i go yo what's your name he goes i'm t i'm like <laughs> okay okay and he goes Tosel. and i'm like all right cool i go i go by t sometimes like, because never. it's short he was yeah, just so, I up. knew though, like, as soon as we met and he said, yo, my name's T, I go, yo, he's just trying something new right now. Yo, that's all, that's not normal. Nobody messes he's, up He T. doesn't seem like a T, like, <laughs> <laughs> so I go, yeah, like, immediately he goes, yo, I'm T, I go, what's your real name? What's it really? And then he's like, it's Terzel, and I'm like, all right, cool, Terzel, nice to meet you. Um... Yeah, and then I went, and then like, okay, so so I'm actually, I don't know if I told you this, like, what? after we walked away from each other, mm -hmm. in my head I'm like, damn, he's really cute, whatever, but I don't think I'm gonna reply, just because I, I was taking a really big point break, like, I wasn't, like, at a place where I hated all men or anything, I mean, we all go to that place, it was right after that, and so I was, like, fine with being in a relationship, but I wasn't looking for a relationship, so I was like, if he... Like I like I, I'm afraid I was really afraid of dating because I'm not I'm not a dater. Like I've been on I've had one boyfriend before and we dat we never dated. We went to the fair ones. That's uh, all. At that point, I was in like uh, dating like he was dating like frenzy. millions of like, girls. I was I was dating millions. a lot. I actually had a day a date the day that we went on a date. Oh, the no, 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 the day that we met, you were supposed to meet up with some yeah. girl and it didn't work out. The, the day that we met, I had a date. Like, I yeah. was going on a crazy amount of dates for, like, like <laughs> two months, like, every single day. And it I'm was like, actually Yo. really exhausting. And he always used to take them to Starbucks, because <laughs> water is free there! <laughs> I'm, I was on a college student budget. Um, who doesn't like coffee and, and bathrooms? And water, <laughs> like go to Starbucks. Like I found twenty dollars in that Starbucks. That's a lucky spot. Yeah, like we're going yeah. to Starbucks. So he was hoping to find his, the love of his life at Starbucks. That's how you know it's real. She doesn't even care like what the first date is. Like you know what I mean. But anyway, clearly they all did. I didn't so. take her to Starbucks for the first date. Instead, I said let's go to Chipotle. Anyways, that's a whole. Let's just finish like this story. Hold up first. So then I'm going back to my dorm. With my friends, so one of one of my friends that was with me was a girl, one was a guy. Um, so Nicole, who was the girl, I'm like, yo, mm -hmm. let's like, okay, let's go home and eat. We were starving, we were so hungry. We went, went home and eat. Um, and then I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna re-download Instagram. We were sitting at the table, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna re-download Instagram because he's cute, but I don't really want him to DM me. Like, I don't want to talk to him because I don't like want to talk to anyone right now. And like. So he did DM me immediately though. Like I opened, I downloaded my Instagram and it was like, I had a message from him. No, no, so look, um, it might've been immediately because you- No, no, it wasn't you, a bad thing. No, no, I know, I know. But you um, might've downloaded the app around the same time, but it was really like three, four hours later. It was not. That I sent I, the no, message. No, I got home. Babe, I got home literally 10 minutes after that. And then maybe one hour later, I read a lot of No, because I remember, because I was talking to um, Brandon about like when like I should send a message mm -hmm. and that was late at night like when I actually sent it it was like 11 o'clock at night yeah when I, I got home it. at nine so yeah so it might have been like 11 10 o'clock like 10 11 yeah so like I just said it was an hour later and it wasn't it, was a message. it wasn't right away 
Okay, that's fine. There was an hour. There was an hour of space. I just said that. All right, I'm saying that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying it wasn't right away. Okay, okay, that's fine. It wasn't right away. Like maybe when you opened the app, then okay, you saw it, right it wasn't away, right but... away. Okay, whatever. Right. And so then I'm like, oh shit, he DM'd me. But then like I really did kind of want him to DM me. But then I'm like, I don't want him to DM me. I was very indecisive about situations of the sort. And so he DM'd me. I replied. And we were talking about fashion for a little bit, and he goes, Yo, like, off way is the shit, huh? And I'm like, Off way, really? That's all you know about fashion? But yet, I was designing a streetwear collection. Um, yeah. Well, no, I actually designed a streetwear collection, I think, maybe a couple days after that. I started designing my streetwear collection for that. And yeah, but I was super interested in it. I really liked the way it looked and everything. And yeah, and then we just kept talking. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe, like, three days later i was like like no no no. okay okay we kept talking we stopped talking for two days straight we didn't talk for two days because i was like okay this is like fizzling whatever like i don't think we're gonna keep talking like it's not a big deal i really don't want him to ask me on a date not because there was anything wrong with him i was just like scared i was I straight out I'm, I'm gonna admit it i'm like pussy I, yeah really a really big pussy about dating because i don't and it didn't date like i wasn't a dater i was more of like a Let's hang and never see each other again, kind of thing. And so, um, yeah, on that Monday, he asked me like, hey, do you wanna go on a date at some point this week? And whatever, and I'm like, I remember in that moment, I was like, my friends were with me, I'm like, no! Don't ask me on a date! Cause the thing is, I'm a pussy about dating, but if he, if he asked me on a date, I wasn't gonna say no, cause I'm big on like pushing myself out of my boundaries. So if that wasn't something I was like good at, I would go. So then immediately I was like, okay, yeah, let's set up a date. And we ended up going on our first date on um, the 20th of mm, April. Which so was a week later after we met. One week later, and it was fun. Yeah, we met. We, we went on our first date on 420 and yeah. we met on Oh Friday yeah, and in my head I'm like, okay, I don't know this kid. He goes to college, he's like 22, I'm sure he smokes. So I was like, in my head, I was like, yeah, he probably, I'm like, why would he give up his 420 plans to hang out with me or whatever? And then the thing is, I don't smoke. So I'm like, yeah, 420, like, it's not a big deal to me. Let's just go on a date. And it wasn't, like, it wasn't a big deal to him either. So he showed up, because, I mean, we don't smoke. So he showed up, and we just went on a date. We went to Chipotle. And the funny thing is, okay, do you want to say anything? Say something? I'm just, I'm gonna you go. I'm gonna you. Okay, okay, no, no. Go. Okay, okay, one quick part and then you can totally uh, take it. Like, you can give me your point of view since, like, after we walked away from each other. Okay. So then, um, that same day, like, right before we went on our first date, he had texted me. He's like, yo, I got an extra sandwich from Chick fil A. Do you wanna go to Chick fil A? I'm not, do you wanna go to Chick fil A? He goes, I can bring it to you. And I'm like, oh. He just wants to So, smash. NYU Weinstein has, um, one of the only Chick-fil-A's in New York City. And I was in there every single day stuffing my face because I was in the gym heavily and Chick-fil-A sandwiches were just like the perfect pre and post meal mm -hmm. of a workout. And I just had an extra one. And who doesn't like Chick-fil-A? Like I thought that she was gonna say like, <laughs> yeah, bring like the, the Chick-fil-A. <laughs> But she didn't. She actually didn't want it. So that's not what I meant, though. I would have loved a Chick Fil A at this at that moment, though. I was a vegetarian at that moment. I, oh yeah. Like that's I'm, true. Yeah. I'm not vegetarian. I was just trying something new, and so at that that moment, I was vegetarian. But it wasn't. I wasn't like, oh my god, why did he ask me a Chick? I was like, oh my god, why did he ask me a Chick Fil A? Because not to go to Chick Fil A. He's like, I'll bring you the sandwich. I'm like, oh, he's trying to come to my room. Oh, on the first day, he's trying to come to my room. And then like, so that's why I'm like weird about dating too. I don't, like, I don't know until I know, right? And so I didn't know what he wanted from me. And I was fine with whatever. I didn't care. I was like- I was just trying to chill. Like, like, I know he was just trying to chill. But like, <laughs> I didn't, I've only dealt with like sleaze bags, I guess, in my life. Other than the nice guys out there that I have, I have been with like, maybe like two nice guys maybe in my life. But um, he- Who? I don't, not you kind of nice though. There weren't mean people is what I mean. Ooh. I don't know. I really don't know. You, I'm, you I'm gotta, sure. You gotta tell me afterwards, but okay. yeah, let's continue. Okay, okay. But anyways, the, the, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, like, like two guys. I really think it's only one nice guy, in all honesty. But well, I don't you, know. They weren't bad people. Tell me afterwards. And so, pretty much, um, I didn't know what he wanted. 
So I'm sitting in Washington Square Park with my girls and I'm like, oh, Chick-fil-A? No, oh my God, he just wants to snash whatever. I'm, and I text him back, I'm like, you know what? I, I was just trying to share, share a, a sandwich. A sandwich. Like, <laughs> so hard because i was so nervous the entire week for the date i was like oh my god oh my god i don't want to go to this maybe i should cancel and then i'm like no don't cancel you're not a pussy and then i'm like but i am but i'm not but i am but I'm not. anyways so um i go you know what never mind let's just go to chipotle what you hold on to your sandwich let's stick with the plan and mm -hmm. then he's like okay that's fine and like he was hanging and whatever and now it's your turn you can say what you felt like since we walked away from each other the first moment we met I didn't even think about it. Honestly. <laughs> After we walked away and we met, like I, I genuinely didn't yeah. think about it again. And I'm because... sure he he went on a couple days before our first date. Yeah, right? I mean, and I I don't want to sound bad, but I was talking to a few girls mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah, I was so. talking to like five girls at the time. So it was not just like... that he's like a big hoe or anything, <laughs> which like being a hoe is totally fine. But so he so was... so at that at that point, I was actually trying to cuff. Like I was actually trying to get in a relationship because I was tired of all the other all the other shit and i was just trying to be in a relationship at that point so i wanted i was like i was gonna give it a fair shake you know what i mean but after we met and we we walked away from each other like i didn't really think about it again it was just like another date on my schedule because mm -hmm. i had so many dates right. on my schedule at the right. time. that's why he, i feel like he asked me on a date fairly quickly like three days yeah so i wasn't days. like you know like overthinking anything mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna wrap up the video right here because <laughs> I just a lot of minutes, like, just, uh... Of us talking? Yeah, so just go to the next video or something like that, you know? Anyways, okay, let's... How do we wrap this up? Um... Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> this is my baby. I mean... Your elbow and me in the leg. And, um... <laughs> and, That's my baby, and I'm me. And yeah. I don't think this is gonna be like a normal outro. Like every time we're not gonna say that because you guys probably understand that, but goodbye for now. Just stay positive in life, work hard, and keep on going we're big towards believers the goals. In that. We uh, will talk about that in another video though, definitely, so you guys actually understand that about us. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!